Singapore banks now have a set of cybersecurity assessment guidelines to strengthen their cyber resilience. Published on Wednesday by the Association of Banks in Singapore, it will provide financial institutions with best practices on security testing. Eugenia Lim looks at how this is likely to impact startups as well. Known as the Adversarial Attack Simulation Exercises Guidelines or Red Teaming Guidelines, the Association of Banks in Singapore or ABS published a detailed checklist for conducting simulated cyber attacks. All of us in the banking industry are aware that cyber security, cyber risk is not a if, it's a when. And uh, at the ABS level, we will be rolling out uh, we will be organizing workshops, briefing sessions for our member banks to socialize them so that everybody is on the same page as to how we can adopt this for their own system in the banks. And as fintech startups fight to stand out, experts say that their success will depend on more than just innovation. I believe that the survivors of, that, of this competition will be those fintechs that are both user-friendly, innovative, and have security built in. So there's an opportunity for fintechs to bring security into their products and help that, help that with their branding. However, Antihack, a Singapore cybersecurity firm, says many startups aren't up to par. Fintech companies, a lot of them outsource their, um, even like their wallet development or even payments development, whether they're doing a website or mobile app. And a lot of them don't actually do a proper penetration test before they even put it up onto the internet. We hope that um, penetration testing and bug bounty will be a norm because currently it's being practiced by the enterprise people only. A lot of people think that a startup no need, only the big enterprise people, SMEs or this can't afford. AI asset management platform Crystal is a startup which has invested in security. Experts say not many startups have this luxury as they are under pressure to roll out their services quickly in the fast moving tech space. Cybersecurity is definitely at the top of our mind. We want to make sure all the wealth uh, and the information that a customer has provided is completely secure uh, and uh, really locked. Uh, the key challenges are uh, primarily uh, ensuring security uh, as we rapidly build our product uh, and we go forward, right? Uh, we do releases and add new features uh, on our platform. Uh, once every three weeks. Uh, while uh, we do that, we want to make sure that the basics of security in, on our platform. The ABS welcomes other sectors to use its guidelines. This could give fintech companies clear reference points to ensure they stand up to cybersecurity threats.